Bev again. I wear two things when I work out. I wear gloves because I don't want those ugly calluses like the big boys get. And I wear five-toed shoes. Now, they come in many colors. They're pliable. They're washable. And yeah, they have five toes. And you know, well, this particular pair, I think I've had these nine years, so they do last. I buy Vibram, but there are many different types. So what I want to talk about today is the difference between five-toed running shoes and cushioned sole running shoes, right? There's, there's choices here and there are choices here. Um, so in terms of running or on your leg days, on your workout, what is the difference between five-toed and regular? Okay, cushioned soles and five-toed. Whoops, okay. Five-toed will replicate barefoot running, whereas cushioned soles allows for an unnatural uh, running, and I'll talk about this. So in this one, it replicates barefoot running because you actually hit with the ball of your foot first. And you also tend to have a lower stance when that happens. But when you're in cushioned soles, you strike with your heel first. Why? Well, because you can. It doesn't hurt. The bigger and the, and the spongier the cushion, the more you're able to do that. So I have a bit of a problem with that in terms of running and in terms of leg days for different reasons. Now, when you're running, the force on your leg, believe it or not, is going to be three times your body weight. I don't care how much you weigh, it's gonna be around three times your body weight. So you're going to be less prone to stress fractures or even knee injuries um, when you're running with more like a barefoot run, okay? You're hitting with your your ball first. And this is going to allow for a natural sort of bounciness, right? The more natural way to run. Um, and on leg days, you're going to be able to feel your whole foot. And this is very important if you're running, as I said, but also if you're, uh, you don't wanna lift the front of your foot in a squat. Um, and for instance, you want to land on the, with your foot flat. If you're in walking lunges, you don't want to land with your heel first and then flatten your foot. So there are lots of things going on on leg day where you can feel. Now, before I go on, I should mention that in a, um, in a lunge also, you're, you're kind of bending your foot, your back foot, right? And depending on how far you foot your, put your foot back or how close it is to that leading leg will determine uh, how much of the um, uh, uh, glutes or the quads that you bring into that movement. So depending on what you want to do, you want to know what you're doing with your feet. Um, so I guess what I'd say, you know, if you look back to the Kenyan barefoot runners in, I think it was in the mid 60s, and they took Olympic golds, right? Um, they had a beautiful, beautiful way of running, beautiful stance, and they won those golds based on that. Um, so when you run, you want to land as close to under your body as you can. And you're going to do that when you hit your ball first. Um, when I was in training for a marathon, um, I, I learned that I had to tilt my hips forward. And what that did is it, uh, it kind of let my trunk fall forward, right? The weight of my trunk was more forward in front of my legs. And then I had to run to catch up. So I, it was easier to hit on the ball of my feet. So I lowered my stance. Um, it ended up being a very, uh, a much more efficient way to run. Um, and it's kind of like a toddler. You know, when you see uh, babies, when they first start to walk, you know, their, head, their heads are very big and very heavy. So they tend to put their heads forward and then fall forward to catch up to it. And you know, you've seen that, right? And it's very efficient for them because they're putting their weight ahead and then they're running to catch up to it. And that's the same thing you can do 
if you have five toed shoes, you're going to hit the ball of the foot first. So if you're on a treadmill running, you're better off to wear these so that you don't get into these weird habits that are very unnatural. So as I say, you can get many different colors, okay? And you've seen people with these in the gym. And if you ask them, they're going to say that they love them, okay? Just some information for you. So I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.